Hey guys, welcome. This is my Realme GT Neo 3 review. I've had this for a few weeks because I bought this from China, from Giztop. So this is the Chinese version and I am aware this GT Neo 3 is now going to be launched uh, globally. So if you want it globally, you can get it. I think it's on the 8th of June they're actually launching this now. So you can get it. Not a Chinese version, a global version, which is great. Now, price-wise, you're talking, I think, around about £350. Don't quote me exactly on that. But the main selling point was obviously the 150-watt super-fast charger. I did a charging test on this as well, and it was just over 15 minutes, um, which is absolutely insane. It really is. Now, there's two versions. You get the white one, and there's also a blue version as well. There's an 80-watt fast charger and a 150-watt fast charger. Uh, so take your pick. I mean, 80 watts is still fast, uh, but the 150 watts, insane. We have an AMOLED display, 120 hertz refresh rate. It is a 1080p panel, uh, but it looks great. I mean, the display has been really, really good. Super impressed. Lovely, lovely dark blacks as well. Uh, can't fault it. Glass on the back, curved, slight curve on the back and it's really smooth and soft to the touch. So in terms of design and build quality, it is really, really good. Dimensity 8100 is powering this. Now, when I first got it, I remember installing PUBG, not the new state version, but normal PUBG. And you couldn't have high frame rates or really high graphics. Uh, but that obviously was to do with optimization of apps. Developers not optimized their apps properly. So I downloaded PUBG New State and you could go all out. Maximum frame rates, maximum graphics and stuff. And then when doing benchmark tests, it, this is an incredible performance, multi-core and single core. Even when comparing it with the Snapdragon 888 of the Realme GT2, because I did do a comparison of the GT2 and the GT Neo 3 and it's pretty much neck and neck. I mean, the only thing that stood out for me really well from the GT2 was stabilization at 4K60. You don't get that on the GT Neo 3. There's no stabilization at all at 4K60, which was a bit disappointing. Um, but other than that, blow for blow performance, you're gonna get just as good performance of this than you will with the GT2 with the Snapdragon 888. Now in terms of software, it is Android 12. We do have uh, the Realme UIs software. I think there's an update available on here as well, actually. Software has been really nice to use. Hasn't been buggy. I haven't seen to notice any sort of bugs at all while using this. This is the eight gig RAM version and 256 gigabytes of internal storage as well. Yeah, Realme UI 3 update there available. So updates are quite regular on this as well, I've noticed. Um, so I'll start downloading that now, actually. And battery life has been very good as well. The Dimensity 8100 uh, in terms of battery life and optimization has been great on this, it really has. Um, I'd recommend this to many, many people, but in the camera department, um, it's good, but I prefer stabilization in all video formats, resolution, frame rates. This doesn't have stabilization in 4K 60. If that doesn't bother you, then I highly recommend this phone. It is fantastic. It's got a nice speaker system on here as well. Um, it just feels nice, not too heavy either. It's quite light, feels thin. The, the glass they've used on here, the texture makes it feel so good when you're holding it. It's got a, a nice rapid fingerprint sensor as well. Uh, it is an in-screen fingerprint sensor and it's quick. So no problem there at all. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. That's all I'm gonna say. Buy it. Yeah, click on the links in the description below. I'll put some links down there. And uh, buy it, yeah. Racing stripes. I do prefer this um, look compared to the blue one in the flesh. Although I haven't seen the blue one in the flesh, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts. Those are my little thoughts. I've, I've had this for probably over a month now. Uh, I've used it on and off, and it's been fantastic. Really, really do recommend it. So that's the Realme GT Neo 3, super fast charging, 
super powerful for such an affordable price. Um, it lacks in the camera department slightly though. Thank you all very much for watching guys. Hope this video has been helpful made you uh, uh, and has made you make a wiser choice because of my opinions. Um, so that's it. Thank you all very much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.